Hey guys, this is Josh Spaulding from JLAffiliates.com, and in this video I'm going to go over the five key elements to email marketing success. So, over the past eight years I've been um, effectively marketing um, via email marketing. I earn a good majority of my six-figure income from email marketing, either directly or indirectly. Um, so I do know a thing or two about email marketing. I'm also the affiliate manager for Jonathan Lachey, um, who I'm doing this video for. Um, and Jonathan, you know, obviously in his own right, has done uh, uh, <laughs> leaps and bounds uh, uh, better than even me. Um, and I feel like I've been pretty successful. So um, combined, we have quite a bit of knowledge, um, especially, particularly with email marketing. So hopefully this video will help you um, if you're not already building and maintaining successful, profitable email lists. Um, hopefully it will help you to do so. And if you are already uh, you know, marketing via email marketing and making profits, then hopefully this will help you um, in one or more areas of your campaigns. So let's go ahead and get started. The presentation is the key, the five key elements to email marketing success. Start earning big profits with effective email marketing. And effective email marketing is the key. Um, you often hear a lot of people saying the money is in the list, and while they're very true, um, just like you know most other things, it's really all about how you market to your list. You know, there's a lot of people out there that have heard that and started building a list or tried to start building a list and just weren't successful and that's because they're doing things the wrong way so let's get into how we're going to do it the correct way so the five key elements are list quality the quality of your list the building credibility and trust with your list once you've built it um, and then you know actually making money with your list the offer um, which is huge we'll get into that and I'll tell you exactly why it's so huge the angle which is probably equally as huge because you can have a good offer but a bad angle and make very little money if any and the frequency so let's go ahead and get started with list quality so the quality of any email list is far 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 more important than the size of the list everybody's always talking about you know this guy has a list of this many people this you know this lady has a you know a list of a million people well that doesn't really mean a whole lot. I mean, just about anyone could build a huge list um, of, you know, hundreds of thousands of people um, with the right strategy. The problem is, or the potential problem is, that the list doesn't convert into any money, you know. So, yeah, it's great to have a big list, but how much money does it make you? And that's what I've always based my lists off of. Um, the success of my list, list building efforts is how much money can I make from that list, whether it's, you know, 500 subscribers or 500,000 subscribers. What matters is how much you're going to make. Um, lists generate traffic. Um, lists generated from traffic exchanges, mass product giveaways, etc., are typically very low quality and result in little to no profits when given an offer. And this is a mistake I've seen a lot of people make. They go to traffic exchanges and other um, low quality sources. Um, stumble upon is another one. Stumble upon can be. Um, quality traffic depending on where it comes from but in many cases it's not really high quality traffic for example so the you know where you're building your list from where you know where the pool of subscribers comes from is very important list composed of previous buyers are the best buyers are by far the best if you had a list of 50 confirmed buyers and another list of you know, say 500 freebies um, who signed up for something that was free, I would almost guarantee that those 50 buyers will make you more money on a promo than those 500 who opted in to get something free. So buyers are very good. Any chance you get to get um, a buyer on a list, you should definitely do that. Start your list by offering something free if you have to. Um, like I said, you know, f people who opt in for something free generally aren't as um, high of a quality lead as as someone who purchased a product, but you know it is still a lead. You know, any way you can get someone on your list, you should go ahead and do it. Just make sure you're concentrating on the higher quality, um, you know, subscribers than the lower quality subscribers if you can help it. But you know, if if you can't help it, then you know, still any list is better than no list. So start building your list by offering something free. Write a report or create something that you can do for free if you don't have money to invest. But if you do have money to invest, um, investing in something with value like software and infographic can really do well. Um, 
and you don't want to sell it too high because if, you know if you're concentrating on building your list then you know a high price product isn't going to do you a whole lot of good building your list. It's going to be a, a lot smaller number, and like I, I said, you know the size of the list doesn't really matter. But at the same time, you know if you're getting someone to pull the trigger and actually pay for something, whether it's seven dollars or seven hundred dollars, typically doesn't really matter. I mean, you can get into it. You know, technically, yeah, someone who pays more is probably a higher quality lead than someone who pays less, but you know just as long as they pay that's a that's a very high quality lead so if you do come up with something with the intent of building your list um, software is an excellent one like a cool little you know piece of software inexpensive software that wasn't very expensive to develop but that you can give away and it doesn't take too much resources those are great list builders um, a really cool um, informative infographic is another good example um, but anything really that is of value is excellent to build your list sell it for very cheap seven dollars nine dollars something like that to where you'll get more buyers um, but um, you won't make a whole lot of money but the whole goal is to build your list so those are high quality leads whenever you're selling it for so cheap because they have pulled out their credit card and they have paid um, previously so they're more likely to pay when you promote something okay so uh, next after list quality is credibility and trust if you don't have credibility and trust with your list if they don't think that you have their best interest in mind they are not going to buy from you this is very important all of these points are probably equally as important but every single one is very important if your list doesn't trust you they will not buy from you build their list build their trust and your credibility will grow send them more emails that contain free info and advice than promotions and that's a big one uh, a lot of people you know when you get on lists that's why lists have such bad reputation because there's so many people who get you on their list and then all they do is sell to you that's annoying that you know you don't look at all the offers because you know it's going to be you know the person's going to be sending out another one tomorrow um, it's just it, it lowers the credibility and trust and it just it's not going to do you any good there's nothing wrong with promoting a product but only promote products that you really do recommend that you have reviewed and you like and you think it will help your list um, and giving and, and you know giving free information free reports free videos you know free stuff you know not all the time you don't want to get them accustomed to getting free stuff all the time but you want to give them more um, more advice that they don't have to pay for than you give them that they do have to pay for um, so just be careful about that don't you know try to get their money every time you contact them um, just think of you know in real life you know offline if somebody comes to your door every day wanting to sell something you're not gonna you know trust that person because all you know that all they want to do is make money from you so keep that in mind um, every time you send out an email imagine that your own family and or friends are reading it and taking every word to heart and that's something that I always try to remind myself every time because you know we're all human we're you know none of us are perfect and obviously we're doing this to make money but at the same time you know hopefully you you do legitimately want to help people too so just keep that in mind whenever you know before you write an email you know if my own brother or sister or son or daughter or, you know whoever someone you love is reading each one of these emails and taking them to heart and really believing every word you say you know would you feel with this email that I'm about to write would you feel right about it you know and if if you wouldn't feel right about it then then change it to you know to where you would feel good about sharing that with a loved one if your main concern is to make money it will show and you will make less money help your list and make that your top priority if you do that the money will come naturally and that basically sums up what I just went over um, help people if you're really legitimately trying to help your list it will um, turn out to make you more money in the long run I promise you so try not to think about the money try to think about actually helping the people and you'll do much better the offer the right offer can make the difference between a fifty dollar promo and a ten thousand dollar promo for example this is the biggest lesson I've learned over the years and it is a big lesson um, when I first started my lists and I did a couple successful promotions I thought well this is awesome you know I can just send out anything that you know seems to be a good offer and I'll just make all kinds of money well I quickly learned <laughs> you know that I was and at the time I was doing pretty well you know in, in the first year of my list um, that I started my list, you know, I was doing, um, I think I was doing five hundred thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollar promotions. Um, but then I learned, you know, I, I remember one time specifically, I did like 
eight thousand dollars for a promotion and it was it was like within the first year I was building my list and I was just so happy I was thinking well, I'm gonna get ten thousand dollars every time I do a promotion and then the next promotion I did I made like I think it was like hundred and fifty dollars so I learned real quick the offer really um, really does make a huge difference and, and and when I say that I'm not talking about just the quality of the offer I'm talking about the relevance of the offer you need to know your list and that's the second point know your list know what they're interested in know what they need help with because if you you could find the best product in the world that helps with XYZ but if XYZ isn't what your list is interested in it's not going to sell even if it is a high quality product so know your list do a poll find out you know find out what they're interested in what they need help with um, what their experience is, etc. Learn as much as you can about your list, and then tailor your, um, you know, the information you give to them, the help that you give them, and the pro and the products that you promote. Tailor it to to that to the results of that poll. It's a very big one right there. Discounts are huge. Some of my best promotions I've ever done have been because I offered. Um, well, first off, of course, um, a good product. But second, I offered a discount that they couldn't get anywhere else, and they had to order through my affiliate link. So it drives it increases the number of sales drastically by offering a discount. I always just contact the product owner, say, "Hey, I'm going to do a, a promo. Um, is there any way I can give them a discount?" It, it, it always helps my list um, do more sales. And a lot of people will go ahead and offer a discount for you. A lot of them will like create a new page for you um, specifically for you. Um, and that is a big thing. Definitely try to get a discount every chance you get. The angle is just as important. You could have the best product, um, tailor-made for your list, perfect, but if you don't have the right angle, they're not going to see the value and they're not going to buy. The angle is basically how you pitch the product, and like the offer, the angle can make a dramatic impact on the final number of sales. The difference can be thousands, even tens of thousands of dollars, and that is very true. Choosing the right angle depends on the list. This goes back to knowing your list. You need to know your list to know what, you know, what triggers them to take action and to buy. Um, just you know, look at the the previous emails you've sent, the previous promos you've done. Which ones did well? Which ones didn't do well? Um, and tailor your angle on that. Um, subject: the subject of your email is crucial. Subjects that hit on your list's main interest and/or simply spark their curiosity will result in maximum open rates. The subject is the most important part of any email because a bad subject will result in very few people opening the email. A good subject will get as m the maximum number of people on your list to actually look at your email, um, which is the first step in you know w whether they decide to you know make a, a purchase or not. So that's very very important. The frequency. A lot of people say if you email too much, you know, don't email too much. Just email every once in a while. That's not so much true. If you want someone to succeed, you stay in touch with them regularly. If you are only sending out promos or low quality content, then of course you shouldn't be mailing often. You really shouldn't be mailing at all. <clears throat> but if you're sending out quality emails and promos, then it's a good thing to email regularly as it shows that you're taking an active role in their online success. So it's pretty cut and dry. You know, if you want to help someone, you're going to stay in touch with them. Um, if it's low quality stuff, if you're not really trying to help them, then yeah, that would be annoying. But you know, if you're really trying to help them, it will follow through and they will realize that and they'll be glad to get your emails. At the same time, like I said, you don't want to overdo it. Sending out more than one email a day in most cases is not a good idea simply because it's annoying. And, you know, people only have so much time in the day, so even if your quality is top notch, even if they do like to get your emails, if you're sending out too much, you know, they have other things to do during the day that, you know, they can't spend it sitting there reading your you know articles watching your videos doing you know spending time on all this stuff you're sending them so don't overdo it don't be sending you know two or three or four emails every day only email when you have something of value to share so you know it could be every day it could be an email every day it could be you know two or three emails a week it may even be um, you know it may be more or less but you know only email when you really have something valuable to share just keep in mind that you are trying to help these people just stop thinking about money and just think about how am I going to help these people and what do I really need to send them um, and if you do that you'll be good the conclusion the popular saying the money is in the list is still very true but your list must be built and maintained correctly in order for it to be a reality for you use the tips in this video to prepare for a long-term successful profitable email marketing campaign 
and um, short but sweet I hope hopefully it's been very helpful to you the you know obviously I could sit here for hours talking about email marketing this and that and past experiences etc but what I've gone over in this video sums it up pretty good and they are the most important points in regards to email marketing in my opinion ones that I've learned over the past eight years of my own email marketing campaign so I hope that helps and for more affiliate marketing training go to jlaffiliates.com slash training where we're always adding new free um, email marketing video or excuse me affiliate marketing videos and just general internet marketing videos to help you make more money so I hope that helps thanks